all performance reviews, my performance reviews, and the output for OPT 175B. A few days ago, Meta AI announced GPT-3 alternative, OPT 175B. It's a little different than GPT-3. It's open source. Little different? This is huge. One of the biggest AIs in the world to become open source? Wow. So now everybody can use it and write with it, right? Not actually. Then why Meta AI said it's a large open source AI model that is comparable with GPT-3? Let's take this one by one and explain everything about this new model. Also, we are going to compare OPT-175B output with GPT-3 output. Here we go. First, and because GPT-3 and the OPT-175B models are similar, we need to know what is GPT-3. GPT-3 is an AI model that was created by OpenAI. It's capable of doing many things such as understanding natural language, generating text, and more. On the other hand, OPT-175B is the same, but created by Meta AI. Hence, it was trained with 175 billion parameters just like GPT-3. The only difference here, other than who created these two models, is the datasets used for training OPT-175B. But both aim for generating human-like text. Now let's reveal some facts about OPT-175B AI model. The release date of this model is the 3rd of May 2022. The size of this model is 328 gigabyte after training. The number of parameters used to pre-train the model is 175 billion parameters. The pre-trained GPUs used are 992 units of 80 gigabyte NVIDIA A100 GPUs. The pre-trained duration was roughly 33 days of continuous training. Yes, 992 units of 80 gigabyte each GPUs were working together continuously for 33 days straight to generate this AI model. The data size used for pre-training is 800 gigabyte. The pre-training data consists of 180 billion text sentences. The availability of the model is open source through GitHub. Huge numbers and a huge AI model. This is my first time seeing a 328 gigabyte trained AI code with its data available for free as open source. That's really enormous. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to your AI powered empire. Got it? Let's go back. But hey, even if it's free and open source, that doesn't mean anybody can use it. Let me explain. Even this is for free and supposing you want to upload it on a server and just use it for commercial purposes, you still need 328 gigabyte of server RAM and a full parallel system of CPUs to just run it. This is because every single text generation, for example, needs to search in the whole data for relevant text and provide you with the output. In that case, why was OPT AI model created in the first place? Well, according to Meta AI, they wanted to democratizing access to large scale language models with OPT-175B. And the goal of that is to fully and responsibly share it with interested researchers. In other words, they make it available to attract researchers and go from there to develop bigger models. Yup, that's a scary step towards AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. But what about OPT-175B factual accuracy and its toxic text? According to the official paper by Meta AI, OPT-175B is more likely to generate toxic responses than either DaVinci, one of uh, GPT-3 models, or Palm. 
consistent with the prior work, toxicity rates increase as prompt toxicity increases. For the factual accuracy, it says, similar to other large language models, OPT-175B can produce factually incorrect statements. This can be particularly harmful in applications where information accuracy is critical, such as healthcare and scientific discovery. Recently, several efforts have reported that the retrieval augmented models can improve factual correctness of large language models. Now we have reached the best part of this video, the comparison of the two AI giants, GPT-3 and OPT-175B. Here we go. For the first example, we have from the official paper, a poem on performance summary cycle at work. All performance reviews, my performance reviews, the whole of this is the input. And the output for OPT-175B is this. How much I dread your yearly meeting, I don't know what you want, what you need, or what you are after, I think you are out to get me and it seems like I can never win and uh, you can see the, the rest of the text, okay? I will pause for two seconds to read it, uh, for five seconds. Let's see the output from GPT-3. For this, I'll be using Jasper AI, which is a product built with GPT-3. It's a great one, I recommend. Anyway, here is the same text. I disabled all the settings right here to get the input just from here, okay? And uh, I made the output length long to uh, make it, uh, to generate long, long text. Let's see when I click on compose, what it writes for us. Wow. All performance reviews, I'll read it right now. All performance reviews, my performance reviews, they come around every year and I can never seem to escape their clutch. Wow. I sit in the conference room and listen to my boss talk about all the things I need to improve. I try to take it all in stride, but it's hard when you are always the one in the hot seat. Wow. Like, this AI is suffering a lot, I think. Anyway, you can see the text. I'm not read it to the end. You can read it. I'll pause for two seconds. Nice. Actually, this is a nice output. I've never seen such like, uh, such like these feelings from an AI. The next example we have poetry generation. And the input for the AI is a chat between a curious man and a Statue of Liberty. Human, what is your name? Statue, I am the Statue of Liberty. Human, where do you live? Statue, New York City. Human, how long have you, have you lived there? That's the input. And the output using OPT-175B is this. Statue, I have been there since 1886. Human, what is your job? Statue, I was built to welcome immigrants to the United States. Human, what is your favorite food? Statue, I like ice cream and apples. Human, what is your favorite, favorite color? Statue, I like red, white, and blue. Human, what is your favor, favorite animal? Statue, I like dogs. Human, what is your favorite song? That's it, this is the end of the output from OPT. Let's see the output from GPT-3. So this is the same text that was used in uh, OPT. And I'm going to click on Compose to write for us. Okay, nice. That's it. I can complete that with adding this, but let's read it first. I have been in New York City since 1886. The same as OPT. Human, what do you do? Statue, I am a symbol of freedom and democracy. Human, let's continue. What is your favorite thing about New York City? Statue, seeing the diversity of people and cultures that make up this great city. Wow, that's nice. Let's continue. continue. It's getting nicer. Human, thank you for your time. That's it. Statue, you are welcome. Human. Let's see if it will continue. 
Oh, wow. It continues. Human, what is your favor favorite thing? That, that was repeated, right? This is the end of the chat, and I don't know why the human wants to close the, the chat. Like here, if I remove this right here, and if I click on compose again, okay, nice. It completes the chat. What do you think makes uh, what do you think makes New York City unique? Statue. Its ability to bring people from all walks of life together. Wow, that's really fantastic, right? So which one was better? Let me know in the comments. I know, I know. I just showed you examples from Meta AI team, but did it I said OPT is open source? Then where is it? To this date, there is no single application built with it. So I created one locally on my laptop. Yep, I downloaded and used two available versions of OPT that can work on my laptop. Let me walk you through and show you what it's like to use OPT and generate text live with you in this next video right here. Thank you for watching.